Today we are going to go through the steps of installing a dry sprinkler using Viking's insulating boots and cold storage bracket. We will go through two methods of installation. The first will show a scenario where no additional foam is needed in the ceiling space around the dry sprinkler. The second installation method will show a situation where additional insulating foam is needed in the ceiling space around the dry sprinkler. Let's get started. You will need the tools shown for the installation. Tape measure, marker, 3 8 inch hex key, 5 16 inch nut driver, and impact driver. A nut driver for grooved coupling, the size will vary depending on your coupling manufacturer. A 3 and a half inch hole saw and drill. Start by locating the position of the sprinkler. If the hole for the sprinkler has not already been made, you will need to drill a three and a half inch hole through the ceiling. Measure the depth of the ceiling to determine the vertical placement of the sprinkler. Mark the sprinkler where it needs to align with the ceiling. Assemble the insulating boot around the sprinkler barrel and position it using the line you made. Using the provided hardware, start assembling the cold storage bracket by threading in one of the bolts and then folding it around the dry sprinkler barrel. Then install the second bolt and position it directly above the insulating boot. Tighten both bolts to ensure a secure fit. Gently place the sprinkler through the hole. The cold storage bracket will support the sprinkler. Mount the insulating boot using the provided hardware. Be sure to position the two overlapping covers so that the holes align, ensuring a proper seal is made. After the boot is mounted, mount the cold storage bracket using the provided hardware. Now that the sprinkler is securely mounted to the ceiling, let's continue the installation on the inside of our cold storage unit. Install the second insulating boot against the ceiling. Just like before, be sure to align the two overlapping covers so the holes align before screwing the boot to the ceiling. Mount the insulating boot using the provided hardware.
Finally, let's attach our flexible hose to the sprinkler. The sprinkler is now installed. Remove the protective cap before placing the system into service. Now let's install it again, but this time we're going to add insulating foam in the space between the dry sprinkler barrel and the ceiling. You will need the tools shown for the installation. Tape measure, marker, 3 8 inch hex key, 5 16 inch nut driver and impact driver, a nut driver for grooved coupling. The size will vary on your coupling manufacturer a three and a half inch hole saw and drill, foam, and a second person to assist with the installation. We're going to start the same as before. After the three and a half inch hole is drilled, we're going to measure and mark the desired placement on the sprinkler. With the help of another person, place the sprinkler through the hole and hold the sprinkler at the level needed. Install the insulating boot against the ceiling. Be sure to align the two overlapping covers so the holes align before screwing the boots to the ceiling. Mount the insulating boot using the provided hardware. While we move back to the ceiling of our cold storage unit, have a second person remain inside and hold the sprinkler at the correct level. Using an approved foam, fill the gap between the sprinkler pipe and the ceiling. The insulating boot will prevent the foam from falling through the ceiling. Mount the insulating boot using the provided hardware. Be sure to position the two overlapping covers so that the holes align, ensuring a proper seal is made. Using the provided hardware, start assembling the cold storage bracket by threading in one of the bolts and then folding around the dry sprinkler barrel. Then install the second bolt and position it directly above the insulating boot. Tighten both bolts to ensure a secure fit. Then mount it to the ceiling using the provided hardware.
Now that the sprinkler is securely mounted to the ceiling, let's attach our flexible hose to the sprinkler. The sprinkler is now installed. Remove the protective cap before placing the system into service. Whether you are using additional insulating foam or not, installing dry barrel sprinklers with Vikings insulating boots and cold storage brackets is fast, easy, and provides a secure seal for your cold storage applications. If you have any questions about the installation steps, reach out to our technical services team or to purchase products for your next cold storage project, contact your local Viking SupplyNet rep.